Today, we are going to make homemade mayonnaise. Yes, we're going to make our own mayonnaise. Well, you may say, why make mayonnaise? I can buy it already in a jar. The reason is you're going to know exactly what's in your mayonnaise. You're going to make it to flavor the way you like it. And it is considered by me one of the extra mother sauces. I know there's only five, but I add mayonnaise because mayonnaise is the base for making so many salad dressings, so many toppings, ingredients. Yes, even in Holland, they dip their french fries in mayonnaise, okay? So we're going to make our own mayonnaise, and it's really nice to know how it's made, really made, from scratch. So I'm Chef Don McMillan. I've been cooking for over six decades, traveled around the world, actually worked on ships, and when we're in the middle of the ocean, and you run out of mayonnaise, guess what? You got to make your own. So we have the ingredients there. It's very simple. You need some eggs and some oil. And to make that, you also need some patience. And it's a lot of fun to make your own mayonnaise, I think. Okay? So why don't we go ahead and get started. So for this, I have an egg yolk. And to the egg yolk, I'm going to add in ingredients. Like I have some, this is mustard powder. Okay? That's ground mustard seeds, mustard powder. Cayenne, it's going to give it a nice color as well. Salt and sugar. Adds a little bit of sweetness. We like that little bit of sweetness. Let's put these bowls off to the side because we are also going to add some acid. So in the acid, I have here a little bit of vinegar and I'm going to need about two teaspoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice. So let's go ahead and cut our lemons like this. I'm going to use my lemon juicer. I like to cut the ends off this way I get a lots of more juice. So let's go ahead and squeeze it and then flip it and squeeze again. See how much juice I get out of my lemons? And let's do that again. We're probably going to have more juice than we need, but I have a teaspoon here to measure it. And this. so this lemon juice is going to really give it a kicked up good flavor. All right. So about two teaspoons of lemon juice. Good. So now let's put this off to the side. I'm going to mix the two acids together. And I'm going to pour about half of that in there and reserve it just for a minute. We're going to add some more. We'll use it. But let's go ahead and mix up our egg yolk and our acids and our spices. Let's give it a good whisk. Mix it up really well. Did you notice I have a paper towel underneath my bowl? You see, because I want to use both hands and I want, didn't want this bowl to be traveling all over, you just dampen a wet, like this, a paper towel put the bowl on there and this way it anchors it right there. That's a little tip we're going to show you because of all these cookings that I've done in my lifetime. We've got lots of information to share. Okay. Now, while well, I'm using just plain vegetable oil, if you use olive oil, do a blend. Okay. Because otherwise it might be too overpowering, but just a blend and you're going to pour it in a little bit at a time. And that's why I need to use both hands so the bowl doesn't move around. And just in drops, just add in a little bit at a time and whisk. So the oil goes in slowly and the whisk goes in quickly. Now, of course, if you have a machine, you could do a lot better job quicker. All right. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I'm using a glass bowl, so you don't want to use a bowl that's reactive to acid. So now 
we've got about half the oil in there. And remember, you've got to do it drop by drop by drop, right? Don't pour it, just drop, it, it will, you know, we, we're having the fat from the egg yolk and we're adding fat from the oil, so we just need drop by drop. So, it's a little long of a tedious, but it'll be really delicious in just a minute. So remember we put half of the vinegar and lemon juice mixture in there, and now we're gonna put the remainder again, slowly, to incorporate it. Just a little bit at a time. Get it in there. Mm-hmm, okay. And then we'll continue with the rest of the oil. So this will make a cup of mayonnaise. And you can store it in an airtight container. It's in your refrigerator. And it, believe me, it will taste a lot better than the store-bought variety. That's what I think. But Notice the color, and that is from the cayenne that we put in there. Of course, the egg yolk gives it a beautiful color as well. So drop by drop by drop, it's slowly. When I was doing this on board the ship one time, uh, I made 25 uh, quarts of mayonnaise. I had this big can of oil that I used a ice pick and just stuck it in one corner and then the other corner because you need air to come in for it to go out and I had a big mixing bowl that we just mixed it up with the egg yolks and the oil so I had to rig up a device where the oil just poured in there really slow it takes a lot of patience you know you can read a novel like War and Peace at a time it takes to make that much mayonnaise See how it's coming up now? Just a little bit at a time. Surprise yourself. You didn't think you could do it, right? But you do need the patience. And don't pour a whole bunch of oil in there. Just drop. When I say drop, 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 drop. If you're impatient, it will not work. Now, of course, if you have an immersion blender, it would be a lot quicker. And if, or if you have an electric mixer or even a food processor would work out although you need the beater on the food processor you can't use the blade that's in there okay so our mayonnaise is now done there's a whole cup of oil right in here so you have egg yolk and oil we know it's a lot of fat i'm sure you know that one tablespoon of mayonnaise is 100 calories but you didn't need to know that at all either right but I just want you to know that you know what's in the mayonnaise, we made it, and you can flavor it, you can add different spices to it, okay? So you saw the spices I added in there, you may want to maybe put in some uh, Hispanic type spices or Indian type spices, some gata masala, things like that. So you can hook this up the way you like it, okay? When you know how things are made from scratch, then you can make them your own. So don't forget to hit the like button. And also, definitely want to subscribe and remember that we have so many more videos coming up how to make ketchup how to make mayonnaise we're gonna do a variety of french fry recipes I know french fries you're thinking hey, I know. there's a lot of french fries out there not our french fries we have some really great french fries and burgers oh my goodness you know I know you saw some of our old videos on burgers these are some kicked up versions these are burgers that you can't believe but you can do it at home we're going to show you how to do that so please check out our upcoming videos so much more to offer and definitely want you to hook us up with patreon because with patreon i'm going to give you exclusive content i'm going to show you behind the scene things that happen you know while we're hooking all these good recipes up and we're going to give you your videos before anybody else can see them and there'll be no ads can you beat that so please do that. Now, I'm gonna take our mayonnaise and place it into a bowl. And remember, you can use it so many different varieties. Put it in a container. You can put a uh, plastic wrap to keep the air on it. You can put it in another container which has a tight-fitting lid. Whatever that you would like to do that. 
and this to me is one of the mother sauces you can add so many different things to it and create your own dressings as well now of course there's a little bit left in the bowl so i'm going to get a nice taste of that because I haven't made homemade mayonnaise in a long time and just want to get a taste. Now that is some kicked up mayonnaise. Really good. So, as always, when you're cooking with Chef Don, our recipes are simple and I just proved it to you. Delicious.